And I'm gonna give you another installment of Bantu Knots and Bots. So I was on my blog, just blogging and doing things of that nature. And I received a question from someone who said that they watch a lot of YouTube videos um, featuring black women or created by black women um, on YouTube. And they were saying that a lot of the black women that they watch on YouTube are super pro-black, but that they have white partners. And they posed the question, can folks really be pro-black and be having white sexual, intimate relationships. I feel like pro-blackness pro is subjective as fuck because I think what one person might think is pro-black, another person might not. However, at the same time, I feel like if you're a pro-black person, your white partner shouldn't be hindering like your resistance, liberation tactics and shit of that nature. At the same time, if I'm being real with myself, when I was with my white partner and I was like, you know, understanding racism and shit more and I was trying to have like conversations with him, it just seemed like he was like, he just got very violent and angry and it was just kind of scary, honestly, because I felt like a part of, like I felt like in ways I was developing not only a sense of understanding of blackness, um, but also I felt like I was understanding the ways I had been anti-black. Like, it, it was just a whole flood of emotions, me, you know, understanding, uh, white supremacy and other systemic oppressions. Like, it was not overnight, obviously, but I feel like once you start getting into it, or rather for me, once I started, like, reading, I just couldn't stop reading. I started feeling like re reading was the only way to set me free. Like, I feel, I kind of felt like going in search of other folks who were also, aware of these things and also going deeper than that fuck the you know collegiate like i started going deep in the tumblr because there are people who maintain blogs that are fucking amazing like amazing just amazing and i, I feel like there are so many things that i learned on tumblr about being black about my history about you know, the histories of my ancestors. There was just so many things that I just didn't know because very very clearly white supremacy didn't need me to know those things. Um, and I think for so long, I was really feeling kind of stuck. Like I think when I first came out and I was talking about, you know, body positivity, that, you know, came out of reading and being exposed to more things via, again, Tumblr and just the internet at large and then, like, finding communities of people, um, you know, to kind of follow and listen to and also, you know, learn from. But as, um, as I was saying, the more I became aware and the more I wanted to share my awareness with my white partner, because honestly, I feel like the more and more I got woke, I still harbored, like I remember, I harbored so much, you know, care for my partner. Like as I read things that were like, you know, anti-white, I was just kind of like, wow, like, you know, word, like that's where that person is at on the journey, you know, but I was still very much so like caught up in the idea of like me having my white partner in my life for like ever and like this being my partner for life and, you know, all that entails with that. The thing that stuck sticks out to me the most is just how much space I held for my white partner when I became quote unquote woke because I really did want to want that nigga to come with me. Like I really was like thinking that liberation was for everybody and everybody could get it. Um, and in ways, it's not that I don't think that, I just feel like you really can't bring niggas to liberation. Like, you can't bring nobody to liberation but yourself. And even that is, like, constantly, you know, in the crosshairs of a million motherfucking bullets. Like, literal and figuratively. For you to get free is amazing and a miracle, and don't ever think that that shit is fucking less than what it is because it's everything but for you to not be able to liberate somebody who you love and you care and you think you can trust that shit kind of fucks you up like i feel like there's nothing like that isolation you know period where you start to kind of see the fucked upness like the really the, the strategized 
fuckery and shade of like being alive and black. Being intelligent and black and like intelligence quantified by experience, you feel me? Just experiencing anti-blackness and finally having a way to describe that shit that seemingly matters, you know, seemingly you know, there were people talking about it, so it mattered, you know, that's what made it matter, is like, the fact that you could find the work, you know, and that you could try to collectivize after that, you know, that's what matters, um, matters. So much space I held for my white partner, so much care that I had for them, and I just felt like such a failure, like, I felt like such a failure when our relationship didn't work out, but I know that the reality was is they were more invested in the perks and the privileges of being a white cis man. Like, they were just so much more caught up in the idea of not really being able to see other people as equals and that being okay. The more I was kind of, like, not okay with the shits, it kind of got more and more personal seeming for him. Like, he started feeling, like, personally attacked by me just talking about white supremacy and the ways in which it has affected my life. Like I like I couldn't even talk about anything anything remotely related to what I had endured um you know all in all the ways that I've been oppressed, all the ways that I've been traumatized. I've just felt like the new language I had this nigga could not hear. He could not decipher. So I felt like I was in a relationship by myself and I was just kind of waiting for, you know, the big blowout, because I felt like I was still trying, like, I felt like I was still trying, and I just remember, like, crying, and just being like, why can't you understand, like, I was like, this nigga went to Harvard, like, I was just feeling fucked up, because I was like, like, I'm not even trying to, you know, placate and be on some, like, you know, if I can get it, you can get it, but it's like, bitch, you have every opportunity to get it, and you're not. At some point, like, we had to, like, kind of part ways, but... I think, like, for a long time, like, I was really upset about that shit, and it really fucked me up, and I think it fucked me up to a point where I was like, I can't hold space for white people no more. I haven't really been claiming no white folk as my people, as my lover, as my one, you know what I mean? I have not been doing that because I just don't want to go through having to fucking, you literally need to teach them a new language, like, that's what it is. Like, and I think that the worst part about it is I got caught up thinking, well, I love you enough to do this shit. And I didn't ask myself, do you love me enough to do this shit? You feel me? That's, that's what it came down to. Like, like this nigga did not love me enough to see me completely, to hold me completely. To answer your question, Anon, before I go on to my whole thing, I think you can be pro-black and have a white partner, but I don't think anybody can be perfect and if... It seems like that's what you're asking for. Like, you want this, like, black person only interested in other black people. only like, like, it's like, if you're a black person and you want to love on other black people, that's the bomb. That's awesome. Um, but I feel like we don't always, de we don't know everybody's trauma. You know what I mean? There's OD folk in the community talking about black people treat them worse than white folk. You feel me? Which is, like, I can't say a lie, but it's like, it's, there's ways of looking at, I, I suppose there's ways of looking at white supremacy in one black person's view and it could be a whole different thing to another black person like we are not monolithic you feel I me mean, we have all different types of experiences so with that being said i think like if you want to keep supporting those channels you should i don't think that their white partner or who they have in their bed really has to matter for me becoming woke in the middle of being in a long-term relationship with a white person that's like a really traumatic thing you feel me because it's like that white person is used to one type of nigga you know what i mean like he was used to one type of nigga and like a new nigga emerged like a new level of my personality emerged and this nigga couldn't handle the new nigga that he met so it was kind of like nah i don't fuck with you but it's like the new nigga i am is the nigga that i was supposed to always be but it's like you go through things in life that keep you from from who the fuck you supposed to be your journey gets fucked up you take a sit on a rock next thing you know you taking a picnic who knows but it's just like as you walk along life you learn all types of shit about yourself you never stop so i feel like it's hard to kind of you know really be with somebody 
for any amount of time and really think that they always going to be like how they are. Like, shit happens to people. Shit has happened to people. People pop off in the middle of the shit's like, this is really me. You know what I mean? And not even on some fakery, just on some, like, something triggered this fucking response and this is how I am now. This is me. Like, are we going to love me through this shit? And that was not what happened to me. So I feel like in ways, I'm kind of like, I've had some traumatic experiences with white people and with whiteness um, that make me feel a little sketchy. Like, I'm not really into, like, you know, really dealing with white people past having to work for white people or past having to be nice to white people at my job. Like, I'm not really trying to go out of my way to, like, make white friends. It's just so much guesswork. It's so much guesswork to meet anybody, but especially to meet white folk because I feel like if you not understanding of your privilege we're not gonna have a good conversation you and i we're not gonna have a good rapport and i feel like whatever power dynamics are in play i might be super nice to you and that's just me being cordial bitch don't confuse it i'm being cordial in and my core my cordiality might be different than somebody else's cordiality but at the end of the day if i don't fuck with you you'll know because i never fuck with you you know what i mean if you only see me when we when i'm getting paid to be there I don't fuck with you. No shade, um, you know what I mean, to any individual white person uh, in particular because I'm not coming for folks. I'm just saying, you know, a, a white person left me a comment um, a couple a couple weeks ago. It boiled down to the fact that they're a white person and they think that I would write them off if we met. And it's like, but how are we meeting? You feel me? It's like a lot of times I meet white people and the interaction is trash. Are, are we meeting at a park? Are you walking your dog? Like, are you being rude? Like, are you being fucking invading my space? Like, what's the what's the dynamic? It's like you're on YouTube trying to figure out whether or not I would fuck with you if I met you. But it's like, I, I haven't met you. I do have friends that I met online um, or off of the internet who were like people that really did think we would be cool if we met and they reached out to me and we met and we were cool and that's awesome but that's not always the case and while I'm up to meet folks and I'm up to you know talk to people um I think it's also real that you know you gotta protect yourself out here like you really do and I feel like a lot of times you know I feel like a lot of niggas could relate but you could get fucked up with your white friends <laughs> And I feel like I did a lot of dumb shit with like a lot of non-black POC and white folks that got me fucked up. And I'm not saying I never did shit with black folks that never got me fucked up. But it's like nine times out of ten I was with a white person doing some shit and boop, I'm in trouble. Or boop, I got caught out. Or boop, I can't go to Save a Lot no more and get milk. So that's like my feelings on that. The second thing I want to talk about is... Um, someone came to meet me, a fan, which is exciting. They actually are detective ass bitch. What up, Ashley? Um, and was looking for hat shops in New Orleans that had backgrounds like my selfies and shit. And I was like, wow, bitch, because there's like OD fucking hat shops. So I was like, this bitch is fucking smart. I need to fuck with her because this bitch often just picks found a bitch. You feel me? It's a lot of hat shops, shops in the city. I know she went to a couple because she was tired as fuck when she finally got to me. So I was like, bitch, what up? Let's chill again. Also, sidebar, trying to do a me and greet, honestly, for the summer, if it's possible. I'm broke. If you're broke, word, I feel you. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to have it be something really low-key. Like, we meet up at a park or some shit. There could be a cute little lavish picnic. I feel like a lavish picnic is, like, more my budget. You feel me? Like, a lavish outdoor situation can folk store dates at me because i don't know but the cool thing is my homie ashley shackleford yes bitch ashley the lion on instagram bitch yes my homie was talking about coming to visit me i don't know if that's possible at this point because niggas is going through life things but i also want to take this time out to shout out my friend ashley shackleford who is popping off with some really dope ass t-shirt designs they're cool as fuck i'm about to get one for me and my girlfriend we about to be stunning in the ship honestly i'm hoping that you know for my birthday i have a little extra coin so i can toss it to my homie so i can really promote you feel me because it's very rare that i find another black fat femme person who's just like going in to the jugular just chopping niggas like in the neck you know what i mean just to be alive this is a real bitch and i really fuck with her and i think the reality is nobody starts off on the internet to be in a bad situation to have to ask somebody for money. So I feel like 
when folks are doing poorly and folks are brave enough to say, we should really help them the fuck out because that's like really brave and that's also very transparent and a vulnerable moment. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a time for folks to really come in and show some love. If you got some love, you've been holding on to. If you got a little bit of love, you've been storing. Bitch, you know what? Hook up my friend Ashley, yo. Check out these fucking shirts. They go up to a size 4X. I'm going to get the 4X, honestly, so I can show fat bitches, you know what I mean, what the biggest size looking like because if the shit is OD big, it might become a tank dress, honestly. Because I'm a bitch that likes a tank dress. Honestly, you know me. But if it's not that big, it still might become a crop top. I don't fucking know, bitch. But I'm going to figure it out. But anyways, thanks for watching. I barely fucking did any band to Nazi see me. I just got my perimeters. That's fine. About to rock this shit.